PC Perspective's coverage of the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by AMD and the second generation A-Series APUs. Hey everybody, we're here at the AMD Experience Zone. We're going to look at a couple of tablets that Chris is going to walk through for us. And actually, we've got uh, a just-announced system from Vizio, and we're going to do a, a comparison against a, a competitor as well. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming by, guys. We're super excited to be here at CES, showing you guys all the cool new widgets and gadgets. We're super excited about a new partnership that we just uh, formed with Vizio, and the announcements over the past couple of days have brought forth a brand new product from AMD and Vizio. This is the Vizio 11.6-inch full Windows HD capable tablet. It is a, it's an amazing product being powered by the AMD Z60 APU with Radeon HD 6250 graphics. And what we're actually showing here is the full capabilities of this tablet running one of my favorite games, it's Modern Warfare 2. Games that you wouldn't think capable of a tablet running, the AMD Z60 runs them flawlessly. We're showing a similar scene here between our AMD tablet and the latest uh, competition from Intel. This is their Clover Trail product, the Intel Z2760 CPU. The idea here is that the scene we're showing from AMD has many, many more capabilities. If you look at all the details, the dust blowing by, the shadows, just the fluid graphics, this is an amazing experience on this full 1080p tablet. Is it, is it running at 1080p or is it running at the same resolution as the Clover Trail system? The Clover Trail unfortunately can't do 1080p, so for an apples to apples comparison, we set them both at the same. They're both at 13, 13 by seven. Uh, it does have capabilities to go up to 19 by 12. Now this, this system is announced and it will be available when? Announced a few days ago, okay. readily available in North American markets in the next few uh, few weeks. Okay, and that's the AMD Z60 APU. Now let's take a step back here and look at the uh, Tomash if we can. Yep. So now this is a uh, Tomash is a new APU that's going to be coming out second half of the year. Tomash is our next generation silicon designed specifically for the tablet market. The idea here is we're actually going to have two variants. We have a dual core and a quad core variant. Dual cores are going to help us continue our momentum in media tablets, while quad cores are really going to help define a new performance category for AMD. So we're looking at tablets that can do more than you've ever thought possible. And we're really, really excited. The silicon just came in, but we've already started partnering with our ODMs to come up with concept vehicles that we can show here. What we're actually showing is a demonstration of our quad core Tomash running a full 1080p game. This is Dirt Showdown. Uh, and you can see just how amazing and how fluid these graphics are. So this is actually running at 1080p. It absolutely is. With, uh, with, with Dirt Showdown. For sure. It's really impressive. I was playing with it uh, a little bit before we, uh, when we got here, and it, it looks great. I mean, it's not, it's not maxed out. It's not like we're running max MSAA or anything like that, but for a 11-inch tablet, um, it's, it's pretty impressive. It's, it's really impressive graphics. And the idea here is that we're going to be starting to enable new user experiences that you never thought capable on tablets. Today, most tablets are great consumption devices. And when you partner with AMD and you get the power of the APU and a full Windows experience, it's really going to start changing the game. And AMD is going to start powering the next generation of performance tablets. Great. Great. Thanks, Chris. Hey guys, we're here at the AMD Experience Zone again. We wanted to show you uh, a laptop that's actually been out for maybe a month or two. This is the MSI GX60. What's interesting about it is that a, it's a Trinity-powered system, an A10 uh, 4600M, but with a discrete 7970M as well. Two gigs of memory, 1080p screen, really powerful system for gaming. Uh, what's maybe more exciting about this is what is behind it. We are seeing this is the oft-talked-about, never-seen-before-now for us, DisplayPort hub, right? So we've got one DisplayPort connection on the back of the laptop going to a BizLink DisplayPort hub, which then enables really cool things when you've got discrete graphics on a machine like this. So now we're running Ifinity. Uh, they're actually showing Tomb Raider here off of a Trinity-powered, GCN-powered laptop, which is uh, really impressive to see. Uh, hopefully we'll see these up in the next 30 to 60 days or so to enable not only that for laptops, but for desktops too.